in high definition. Central Coast News right now. A message for her classmates. A teen paralyzed in a crash told her fellow students about her mistake and the pain she now lives in. Why was it me? Why did I have to? Why do I have to wake up every morning and not just get up out of bed and walk? We first brought you the incredible story of Chelsea Hill in an exclusive interview last night. Four other teenagers were hurt in the wreck, and today Chelsea shared her story in front of the entire student body. And as Central Coast News reporter Shannon Hogan explains, she hopes that people learn from her mistake. People make silly decisions every day. It's easy to go right instead of going left. How many times have you run through a yellow light when things could have turned really bad? And the sad thing is that's really what's happened to Chelsea Hill. She made a bad decision. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And now she's paying for it for the rest of her life. I just hope someone gets something from this. I'm really scared. I don't talk in front of people, you know, like I was put here to dance. Moments later, in front of more than 500 of her classmates, Chelsea Hill sat in her wheelchair. She was in the gym of Pacific Grove High School today to bear her soul, telling how she regrets getting into a car with a friend who was drinking. The next thing I remember is hitting a side of a curb and seeing a tree and blacking out. And I remember hearing, Chelsea, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay. Her mother and father sat in that gym too watching and listening to their daughter, remembering the moment they got the news. It dropped me to my knees. Um, uh, you know, you can't, it's undescribable. Um, it's something I wouldn't want any parent to go through. Today, Chelsea went through the details of her carefree life before and after. She even shared a video of her accident to show her classmates how things can change in an instant. It was a dramatic hour, ending with Chelsea begging her friends and classmates to do two things, think and not take anything for granted. I'm a teenager and my life is completely different now because of one decision I made. She did great, she did great. She, um, she held, held her head high. My heart goes out to her, she is our rock. You know what you guys, I have to say, Every time I hear Chelsea talk, I just get choked up. She's really an amazing girl, and she's done an amazing job in this journey. And as you heard in the beginning of the story, and she talked about it when I was at home with her with the interview, she was a dancer, loved to dance, a wonderful dancer, and her dream was actually to be on the Fox show, so you think you can dance. Right. So today, in, this morning, in the newsroom, people were talking about it. We actually made a call to Fox and got her two tickets to oh. go see the taping, and we told her at the assembly today. She was so excited, her mom and dad so <laughs> excited, and... You know, we're just hoping that it'll be a little beacon of good light, you know, that will help her in this, you know, hard time for her. And Chelsea, if you're watching, stay strong, girl. You're doing a great job. She is strong and a real inspiration to, to everyone, really. And is there an update on her condition? Will she stay in a wheelchair or you know what? Is she's paralyzed, she but she's better. very hopeful. She's going to physical therapy. She's doing the things she needs to do. And medicine is making great strides. I mean, there's always a possibility. So she is holding on to the hope, and we're all holding on to the hope that one day she will dance again. All right, keep going, Chelsea. In the meantime, she has been an inspiration. Definitely. Thank you, Shannon.